Quite often a reloader will want to find the optimal charge weight or OCW for a particular set of load components, uh, bullet, powder, uh, primer, and case. And the way they typically do that is they'll create several small batches of, of maybe three, five, or even ten rounds. Uh, and each of these batches will have a slightly uh, higher charge weight, a little more, little more powder in the case uh, uh, for each of these batches. Then you go to the range, you shoot each batch, um, and compare the results uh, from each batch against each other to find out which, uh, which powder charge weight uh, gives you the best group size or the, or the best uh, you know, the velocity you're looking for, for whatever criteria you're, you're trying to, uh, uh, to identify. Typically, I go by group size myself. Creating a batch in Reloaders Workshop is fairly simple. You select a load, you enter the batch details, and boom, you've got a new batch created. But when you're working with a series of OCW batches where you're creating five, six, seven, even ten different batches, that can get a little tedious, uh, having to enter all the batch details over and over and over again. Well, that's what the OCW feature uh, that's been introduced in version 1.1.008 was designed to fix. Now, I have a completely blank database here. This is a brand new installation. Uh, so I don't have any uh, loads or, or batches in here. I did that so that you can see uh, uh, the, the information that we're putting in without all the other distractions of other data. First thing I'm going to do is create a, uh, a load. Uh, this will be a rifle load for 308 Winchester. And I'll select the components for the load. I'll use a 150 grain bullet, IMR 4895 powder. Oh, let's use a Pua case and Winchester large rifle uh, primer. Okay, so those are the components for our for our new load here. Uh, next thing I would do is add all the various powder charges that I have data for. Typically, they'll have you know four or five different powder charges uh, uh, in a, a reloading manual. Sometimes all, all you have is the, uh, the starting load and the maximum load, and that's actually a perfect candidate for an OCW series. Now, for this particular set of components, I'm going to add a charge, a uh, starting charge of 42.6. According to IMR, that would be the starting charge I would use for that weight uh, bullet. Uh, using that powder. Now, I also have the maximum load, uh, which is 47.3. Uh, now, those are the only two charges that I have, the, the starting load and the maximum load. Now, I have to at least put the starting and maximum loads in so that Reloaders Workshop knows uh, where to start and where to end uh, when it creates these, these series of, of uh, uh, OCW batches. Uh, Reloaders Workshop will never cr automatically create a batch that has a powder charge of less than 42.6 uh, or a powder charge of greater than 47.3 uh, when using this particular load. So it, it, in order to do an OCW batch or any anything really, you have to give it the starting and the ending uh, or the maximum loads. Okay. So I'll add that load to my list here, and you see that uh, 308 Winchester, my bullet powder primer and case that I selected, I have the two charges. Starting load at 42.6 in green, over to the maximum load 47.3 over here in red. Now let's go over to the batch data tab. Of course I have no batches created yet. I'll hit add, add a new batch. Now there's my one and only load that I have, so I'll select that. Now normally, uh, if I were just creating a single batch, I would then select the powder charge and uh, enter all the batch details. Well, this is going to be an OCW series of batches. So uh, the only powder charges I have listed here, of course, are the beginning, uh, the starting load and the maximum load. So I'm going to go ahead and check OCW. 
And what it does then is it clears out the, the load details group and it shows me what it's going to do when I press the add button down here at the bottom. Uh, it defaults to three batches of five rounds each starting at uh, 42.6 grains which is the starting load uh, via MAR 4895 with increments of 1.2 grains. Okay. Now, uh, if you look over here under batch details, under number of rounds, you'll see it's graded out and it's put the number 15 there. Well, that's three batches of five rounds would generate a total of 15 rounds. So that's why it, it puts it there. Um, I can edit the batch settings. For instance, if I want my maximum number of batches to be 10, uh, I want five rounds per batch. I'm going to start at 43 grains instead of 42.6. And I'm going to use increments of 0.8 grains. And we can see here that that's going to result in six batches of five rounds each starting at 43 grains of IMR 4895 with increments of 0.8 grains. Now, why only six batches when I specified 10 up here? Well, if the starting powder weight, uh, it starts at the first starting powder weight of 43 grains, and then the next batch it'll add 0 0.8, and then the next batch 0 0.8, and so on and so forth. Eventually, that's going to go over the maximum load, and Reloader's Workshop won't create a batch uh, with a powder charge higher than the maximum load that you've given it. Uh, so in this case it can only create six batches before it hits the maximum load. Uh, if I decrease my increments, say to 0.4, well there we have, you know, we can create 10 batches of, of five rounds each. Um, with 0.5 grains I get nine batches and so on and so forth. So that's, uh, that's why I, I, this is called a maximum number of batches. And, and doesn't always generate that uh, that many batches. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK, and we'll see our new information is here on the uh, load details. And then I would go through and uh, add any additional batch details, you know, like CBTO or head spacing, uh, neck tension, you know, all of those kinds of things that I would normally enter for uh, a typical batch. But now when I hit the Add button, it creates six batches for me. Here they are, numbered one through six. Batch number one uh, is followed by the letters OCW. That tells you that this is a starting load for an OCW series. Now all the, the other batches, two through six, also have the OCW, but they, they also include the number one, indicating that the starting batch for the OCW series that this batch is in begins with number one, okay? And uh, batches three, four, five, and six all have the same thing. They have OCW and they indicate the starting batch for this OCW series. Now all the, imp the, the data for each of these six batches is identical with the exception of the powder weight. And you can see here on batch number one, our starting uh, batch, starts at 43 grains of IMR 4895 and then batch number two here has 43.8 grains since we were incrementing by 0.8 grains. So each batch then has 0.8 grains additional powder until we get up to 47.0 uh, um, uh, which is the, the highest uh, powder charge in the series that we created here. Now if we edit uh, one of these batches, we'll see here that OCW is grayed out, but it is checked, meaning that this particular batch is part of an OCW series. The powder charge on this one is 45.4, um, and it's five rounds. And you can see here we have five rounds. It is 45.4 grains of IMR 4895. So each batch from this point on will be treated as a separate batch. Um, you, would, you would enter test results and uh, things like that, all of that uh, for each batch individually. Uh, and then you can use the evaluator uh, to compare them and, and find your, your optimal uh, charge weight. The other thing I wanted to show you was, if we go back over here to the load data tab, here's our load. 
Now remember, we only put in the starting charge of 42.6 and the maximum charge of 47.3. When we created that OCW series of batches, uh, it used all of the, you know, 43.0, 43.8, and so on, all of these charge weights uh, to make those batches. So what it did is it added those charges to the load uh, so that you could track the test results uh, for each of those charges independently. And that's really all there is to uh, OCW batches. If you have any other questions, you can always uh, go to the support forum. You can get there through the uh, Reloaders Workshop uh, website, www.reloadersworkshop.com.